so we wanted to talk about today why we're doing this podcast and what we have in mind, you know, what we kind of want it to be. Yeah. Why in the world are we doing this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, I mean, first of all, as you can tell, we can talk about this stuff forever. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, so there's that where you just get to have fun and get to talk to each other more. I love that, that we get to hang out more and yeah. just like, yeah, it's, it's great to have a reason, even though, even though we shouldn't need a reason, but you know, life just gets in the way when you don't have yeah. things scheduled. So I don't know. I think it's like entrepreneur life. I <laughs> like your world just gets a little smaller mm-hmm. and you can be working 24 hours a day and never get it all done. So yeah, yeah. this is just a nice way to make sure that we get to hang out. Yeah. When I first started CrossFit, I didn't really have anybody at the gym I was friends with. Mm-hmm. And my brother was the one who had suggested I try the CrossFit out. So I would call him after class and be like, tick, 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 she would play tennis at least four hours a day. And then she'd go to like a workout class, she'd do body pump. And I remember her telling me, I mean, it was the same thing. She would call and just also be. (laughs) (laughs) And then we did this and then we did this. So I definitely come by that honestly. And uh, trying to talk to Don about going to the gym, I feel like his eyes glaze over and about, 20 seconds (laughs) Nick says he enjoys hearing about it oh but I don't know (laughs) he doesn't usually have anything to say back (laughs) yeah John's never been to a CrossFit gym so he's yeah kind of like never I mean he's been to a gym but not for class (laughs) yeah like cool 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 you guys are weird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's one reason we're doing it is for yeah, us, I'm, but also, you know, for you. I'm sure there listener. are other people out yeah. there. Yeah, that just like want to just like commune and chat workouts and things like that. And we are, you know, the olds at the gym. Mm-hmm. So not every box has tons of olds right. to hang out with. Mm-hmm. And I don't know about you, but I don't really fit in with the 25 year old. Right. Even if I want to. Yes. <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. I don't really fit in with the 25 year olds. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> a community of olds that just love going to the gym and yeah. can't get enough geeking out about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I just want to say, I like that there are 25 year olds and I like oh, yeah. sometimes talking to 25 year olds. There are just certain things that you just can't relate over with 25 yeah. year olds. Yeah. So I like to make Spotify mixes and then I share them with the coaches and then they'll mm-hmm. play them. Mm, nice. And there was a night where it was, I don't remember the name of the mix, but older songs. Mm-hmm. And I knew all the words. And the two <laughs> beautiful young ladies that I was lifting with were like, oh, this reminds me of sixth grade. Yes. Like, yeah. I would have been your middle school teacher. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> barely a week goes by that there isn't something like that happening. Or you're like, yeah, uh-huh, you're in sixth grade. Yeah, that was when I was a professor. <laughs> right? <laughs> I would have been your boss. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So what would your, what would some of your goals or why would you want to be doing this podcast? Yeah, well, so I remember when I was writing my first book, I was 
kind of in exile, I had moved to the valley in LA, um, away from my friends and community at the learning garden and the yoga center. And I, you know, I needed to, um, well, I wasn't living with my roommate anymore. And I was kind of sick of like, I didn't want to live with any random people. And so to afford an apartment there by yourself, you got to go to the Valley. And Nick was there too. So I wanted to be close to him. This was before, obviously we moved in together, got married and everything. Um, but it was kind of lonely out there. And I would just, you know, listen to this podcast, the self-publishing podcast. It was three guys and they were just fun. And, you know, they would just talk and laugh and I got information from them, but really I just like, they were my friends, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know? And it, I love that. It was yeah. just like company while I was, you know, cleaning up, while I was cooking and everything, um, going for walks or whatever, just taking breaks. And it was great. Um, and then they even did, they even did a podcast that was like zero informational content. They just did this other podcast called worst show ever. And I loved it. <laughs> it was just, that, it was just them BSing the whole time. And so I know that like podcasts can feed us in that way. They can mm-hmm. be like friends for us in a specific, you know, I, I didn't really have a lot of writing friends at that time. Um, and so it was just really nice. And, uh, and I can think of some other podcasts kind of like that, like, you know, <laughs> bitch sesh, <laughs> like my real housewives podcast. I've never watched a single episode of that show. I, I watch a couple, I watch like New York and LA and then I was at the hairdresser reading Vanity Fair and they were talking about this podcast. So I'm like, oh, I have to check it out. And so I did. And I have to say, like, since I checked out the podcast, I also had to start watching Salt Lake City, <laughs> which is really good. Um, but anyway. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, well, so yeah, it's like you're going out to the bar or something with those people and just mm-hmm. watching them. Like, yeah, it's just like people that are um have your interests, you know, and they're fun and funny and you just enjoy their company. So that's kind of what, you know, I would, I am thinking that we would provide for people, Mm -hmm. you know, just like entertainment and company and just like, you know, BSing about stuff. Cause it's, you don't always want to listen to an informational podcast, you know, and learn all the time. Um, No, you need a break. Yeah. laugh and I I like the podcast smart list um it's Jason Bateman and Sean Hayes and Will Arnett and then they have like a famous guest on but usually they're just like bsing you know at the beginning at the end and it's they're all like super good friends and they've had crazy funny experiences together and so it yeah it's like a little window it's like if I went out to drinks with people that they're all good friends and it's just kind of fun to observe yeah I didn't know those guys were friends yeah they like travel together and stuff oh wow (laughs) I saw Jason Bateman like this close (gasps) really yeah at the Arclight movie theater oh yeah he was passing by and he was he had like a little kid in each hand so he was kind of ducking down so our faces were like he just walked by we were so close He's really attractive in person. I mean, he's a good looking guy, like anyway, but it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> so are you a fan of, oh gosh, what's the name of that show? That's most recent. Oh, with him? Mm-hmm. I have never watched it because it's not my type of show, I think. So good though. Yeah. Because it's a character that like, he just, I, I feel like he's showing off his own acting talent for sure mm. what is that one called it's like in mrs in the ozark, ozark. is that yeah, okay ozark. yeah i have never seen it yeah I, it is a little dark yeah i'm mostly like a comedy person I have to so say. then did you enjoy what is the comedy one that he did 
Um, oh, Arrested Development. Yeah. One of my favorites. Yeah. Okay. So I finally watched it mm -hmm. and it did take me a little while to kind of get into. Oh yeah. But now I feel like I need to rewatch Kind of like Napoleon Dynamite. Remember, yeah. we were like the first time is not enough. <laughs> but then you just love it. Um, oh, oh Weedon is saying hello. Weedon. Hi, hey. Weedon. You need attention? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Mom, you've been doing this too long. Anything else that we intend for our podcast? Yeah. So I'd love to like, you know, have this community where we're sharing some of our, our Medicare ready moments and I games ready moments. Like I'd love to have people across the world who Share are those. old yes. and they're a little isolated at their gym and they are obsessed with CrossFit a little bit yeah. and they just want to celebrate because yes. that is one of my favorite things to do at the gym is mm -hmm. cheer on other people. Yeah. Even if I don't know them, it's right. because I know how good it feels when somebody like notices yeah that I did something or totally and you know the 20 somethings don't always like say hey good job right <laughs> not that that's bad I wouldn't no. have said that except no. you know what I might have because that's just how I was raised yeah my mom was up in everybody's business like mm -hmm. telling them how great they were so that's so sweet <laughs> yeah so I'd love to have yeah like on Instagram or Facebook Yep, and, community. Yeah, yeah a fun community Our, where, and like if we go on a trip, we could go mm -hmm. like on a worldwide box tour. <laughs> and yeah. Collect t shirts from every single one. Oh my goodness. Okay, you with the clothes. We're definitely going to be into clothing <laughs> as a topic. So, yeah, so yeah. topics are going to vary like crazy. We're really into food, mental wellness, clothing. <laughs> Some of us are more into fashion than others. Your style. <laughs> I just like to watch the Real Housewives, but like I don't do fashion very well myself. <laughs> oh, well, okay. But we have to put this in like, so when I was teaching, yeah. um, I discovered that I loved dresses because mm -hmm. you can grow a little or you can shrink a little and it doesn't matter and you kind of always look dressed up oh my gosh and Wait. I just loved them yeah remember the time my plane was late getting to you in Michigan <laughs> so you went to Nordstrom Rack and bought five dresses <laughs> I do <laughs> I just thought we needed to, you know, you guys want to get to know us. That's, uh -huh. that's a good, um, uh -huh, uh -huh. one of them was Anne. a beautiful Ted Baker silk dress that I'm actually going to start. I'm going to try and posh it oh, right. because it's pretty sure it's real unique at this point. Yeah. Oh yeah. I had, I still, that was a while ago. <laughs> I don't have a dress problem now. I had a dress and a shoe problem and now I just have a booty short problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I really yeah, do yeah. like collecting t-shirts from, so I was in Nashville this summer and I had been in Orlando in the spring. So I make sure to go to a box and participate and then get myself a little t-shirt. That's cool. Cause it's fun to collect them. Yeah. And I got to figure out what I'm going to do with them at some point right that could add up to a lot of t-shirts it's going to be a lot of t-shirts so I think back <laughs> to when I played tennis and I was in probably 10 tournaments a summer and every tournament has a t-shirt yeah and I wish I would have like cut out little pieces or something and made them into a afghan or just something because it was a pain in the butt to have all those t-shirts but then I didn't know what to do with them. So mm. they got donated and who knows where some of those tennis shirts were. And mm. I did have to throw away a lot of them. And maybe your functional nutrition part of you could understand this. I had the worst sweat pits and they were like mm. yellow. Mm. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> so you want me to explain why? What was I so toxic with? <laughs> 
<laughs> really don't know. He's <laughs> an oily, toxic, nasty teenager. <laughs> like everybody else, but right. anyway. So back to the pod. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. My When I was teaching, my fifth graders would realize probably halfway through the year that there were certain little things they could bring up and then <laughs> you would I go off on a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was teaching high school. Also, it was just something kids do. They're like, "What can we do to get off on a different subject? Anything other than chemistry?" <laughs> do you I ever think- feel like because you are a teacher, like down deep in there, do you ever feel like I want to be a coach? Nah, I just want to have fun and be the student. It is really nice to be the student. Yeah, be the coachy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think we need to wrap this up. Any last thoughts? Oh, you know what I wanted to say? Mm-mm. I just really wanted to just let people know that there was a part of me that really wanted this to be called the Will My Bod Last podcast. <laughs> Such a good name. But you know, we want to be optimized for search. So people who want to find us can find us. And there was like nothing really searchable or search optimized about that name. So no, anyway, but we can throw it around occasionally. Oh fun. yeah. This is will my bod last podcast. Mm-hmm. It will, it can, you got to take care of it. Yes. Yeah. By doing functional movement. Mm-hmm. and other things <laughs> yes yeah. sleeping through the night <laughs> it's key see you next time bye